she has no idea that this there's is a happening. There's a bridge, that there's a no. new waterfall, no. new filter. This is going to blow her mind. Oh, thank you. This is awesome. I spent so much time out here, you have no idea. This is my world right here. We remember these days, huh, Kenan? I love these days. I, can't, I want more of these days. All right, this is Bernie's Bridge from California, right? You got it. I'm so proud. <laughs> Today is the build day. Everybody's just arriving. We got all of our materials just arrived. Let's take a quick walk through, see what we have happening here today. So we got all of our hand tools that we're going to be working with. And then we had all of our other materials were dropped here last night. We went over to a bushel stop yesterday. We tagged all the rock that we're going to be using. We got our soil. We also have mulch. We have river rock, all the different pieces and parts that we need. And then over here in the back, we have all the pond products. We got some aqua blocks. We got bio balls. We got our flexible PVC piping. We got our pump vaults. Some of the stuff we may not use. I shipped it down just because a project like this in a renovation type of a situation, we never know exactly what we're going to hit. Even though Greg and I were here a couple weeks ago, there's always unknowns. We're always working on the fly. So we wanted to make sure that we had all the necessary parts to pull this project off. We busted out all that material coming out. Now we have a good area that we could actually attach our rubber liner into the existing concrete shell that we have over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Kyle, this is what we do here at Aquascape. <laughs> but Kyle, your mom is not really clear what's going on out here, is she? No, she's going to blow her mind when she gets home. <laughs> so we have to have this done by 3.30, which I don't think is going to be a problem. We got easy access out here. Thank you guys all for coming in a last minute build a pond day. And how about a hand for Ed, the pond professor? <laughs> Good morning everybody, thanks for showing up here today. We got a really, really cool project in front of us. What we want to do here today is give them a little bit more volume. So what we did yesterday, cut out the concrete. We started preparing that so we could attach a rubber liner to it. We're gonna dig out a deep stream bed that's gonna kind of work its way up over into here. And then we're gonna have a waterfall. So what we want to do is we want to try to eliminate some of the maintenance. We want to have a biological filter built inside of here. Our biofilter is designed to be built into the landscape. Kyle also put in some piping underneath the deck, which is a big, big help for us. We're gonna connect up with a new piece of pipe, bring it all the way out. And I'm going to go through the process today of exactly how I would tackle this with our regular team. We're going to set the biofilter first. The reason I want to do that first is because all of the excavated soil, everything that we dig out of this pond, we want to use to bury that biofilter. That's going to give us the necessary height to create the waterfall. So we're going to create a nice big planting berm. Once we get our liner in place, we're going to do a watertight seal between the rubber liner and the concrete. And we'll start coming in here, we'll start doing all that beautiful stonework. We'll bring in our river rock, we'll hook up our pumps, decorate everything up, put in our mulch, and we'll and, be ready to turn it on. And be done in seven hours. under here we're going to take out this wood so we can run the pipe all the way over to the biofalls yeah. Ed is teaching about the biofalls. Fails, you're going to get dirt and stuff all over this and if you get dirt inside of those threads you got to clean all that stuff out. Just like all projects we got a little bit of a challenge here so we are rerouting some electrical lines again thankfully this is just low voltage we're just dropping it down into the bottom of the pond reconnecting everything so we could kind of keep all that stuff working as we move forward so that's a relatively easy fix and then over here on the other side we found an irrigation line which is going right through this section we debated just kind of pulling it up and capping it and then it could have been fixed later but the challenge is you can see that that is going right underneath all the concrete and it's going to that little planted island which is completely surrounded by patio and everything. We didn't want to do that because there's no way to reattach it once we kind of get past this stream. We're going to drop our geotextile fabric in here, rubber liner, and then we're going to start connecting everything together, finishing up this berm and stream. We got everything cleaned up. We filled in the cracks and crevices with the concrete sealer. Now we're coming in with our silicone sealant, which is going to make that watertight seal. 
cleaned everything off. So we're gonna take this liner, we're gonna drape it over the top. You could also see what we did here is we put this piece of tape on top of here. So this is an EPDM tape. It's gonna increase the load bearing capacity of the liner. It's gonna stiffen everything up. This is gonna allow us to attach that strip. It's gonna give a good bond for us. Our next step now, we're gonna come in with our Capcons, drill this thing in, and we will be set. All right, Josh, let's see these fish. Josh from Ohio Fish Rescue came all the way down here. We got Rodrigo, the man, the myth, the legend himself. All right, so Josh, you flew down yesterday, and where did you get these fish from? We actually called it in a favor from Butt Buddy Franklin. Some of these are Japanese koi, which you actually went on that trip. Oh, very nice. We've got smaller Japanese koi here, and then a big girl. That, that of three smaller ones, you would enjoy a large nice. koi. So. You got some aeration in there. Yep. We actually had to make a DIY why weighted air stone because the air stones were not heavy enough so i made that in the parking lot with large koi they produce a lot of ammonia and transport and we got to wait till the end of the day to be able to put these in the pond so we're going to go change their water and we will be back thanks ohio fish rescue to the rescue all right everybody we've made incredible incredible progress so far today we did the excavation, we cut the rest of the concrete out, we set our biofalls, we put in the pipe, we brought in the soil for the berm, we made our watertight connection over here, we started setting all the stone for our waterfall. Now what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, we're gonna bring in the rest of the stone, get all the rest of the stream and waterfall taken care of. We will start bringing in more organic soil for plantings around that edge. I'm gonna seal up the liner to the biofalls itself. We'll come on in after that. Once we get the soil in, we'll start doing our plant things. We'll bring in our mulch. We'll put river rock along the bottom, as well as in the bottom of the concrete area here. And then we're also gonna start getting our pump in place to make all those final connections. Three hours and 25 minutes, this thing's gotta be running. Fish gotta be back in and mom is coming home. Three hours and 25 minutes, guys. Let's go. So you want to just start out, all the holes should be lined up. So when you put it in, you'll, it'll feel kind of spongy. You just want to start spinning that thing and it will pierce through the rubber liner. That's why it's got this tapered tip on there. We remember these days, huh, Kevin? I love these days. I, can't, I want more of these days. But this is cool, man. I love how you integrate it into an existing feature and pond professors. That's right, building the waterfalls. Guessing our water level in the pond is going to be somewhere right in here. Okay. So what we want to try to do is get water kind of coming around this rock. So we're trying to have water coming through these two areas. You know, kind of all coming together, maybe get a light or something like that over in this area. We're always looking at the pump volume that we have. We have an adjustable pump, 4,000 to 8,000. So that's going to give us a good inch and a half thick water cascading over this. This is like a secondary overflow. Like water will start spilling off of all this stuff. It'll look sweet. We are one hour away. We're washing everything down. We're cutting back the liner. Ed, how you feeling? Woo, we got a lot of work still to do. Ed, we got to get the pond filled. The pond isn't filled yet. When mom walks in that door, we want that waterfall flowing. All right, this is Bernie's Bridge from California, right? You got it. Let's see what it looks like, Judge. All right. So wow. We just got to level, level it. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like it's always been there, guys. Let's see, how much time do we have to spare? Plenty. Three minutes. Tell me what this means for your mom. I think it means the world to her right now. She's not used to all the attention. It's going to be great. What does she think is going on? She just thinks there's a couple guys working on it? I told her I was going to have a couple people help me come over and work on some of the pumps. She has no idea that this there's is happening. There's a new bridge, that there's a no. new waterfall, no. a new filter. This is going to blow her mind. <laughs> this is so fun waiting for this. She looks a little confused. Yes. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I guess you do. I'm late to the party, yeah? <laughs> Hi, Carol. I'm the pond guy, Greg, from Chicago. And I came down here because of this young man's story and your story with your family. 
and I'm the manufacturer of the pond equipment, we read Belcher Pond. You're kidding. No. I didn't see it. Let's go see it. What's that? <laughs> Awesome. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. This is awesome. Check out your new bridge. I love it. <laughs> A little surprise? <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm shocked. <laughs> I believe it's been broken for so long. Oh, it's landscaped and everything. Absolutely. Come on, check it out. Come on. There's your filter up there. That's a biofalls up there. So it just recirculates, comes through. The fish are going to be able to swim all the way up here. And we got one more surprise for I you, too. It. So Rodrigo and Ohio Fish Rescue have a little gift for you too. All right, so what do we got here, Josh? These are... Oh my goodness! We don't mess with my lion! Did you? So we shot you a large koi, and this one here is a smaller Japanese koi. It's got a lot of beautiful colors. Oh my God. Rodrigo, tell me about this. So then I found out about this story. I wanted to share and help out, and you came and, and helped. So I came from Chicago. This guy came from Chicago. Yep. We got people from Memphis, Tennessee. We got people from Utah, all oh, over. We got local coming here to do this. Florida. Florida. It looks great, and we wanted to bring you some happenings. And every morning now, you can sit on your chair there. And Low I maintenance, beautiful aquascape <laughs> ecosystem. <laughs> I love it. I spent so much time out here. You have no idea. Get this out. is my world right here. This is beautiful. Congratulations on your new aquascape ecosystem that water feature. <laughs> So what'd you think? Your first time witnessing the Belle de Ponde. Pretty cool? Yeah, it was really cool. Awesome. Couldn't ask for more. I'm so glad to be a part of it. Fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So fun. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to participate with this beautiful project. It's a great experience in this time of the season. It was very worthwhile to do it. Thank you, Greg. Well, thanks for volunteering. God bless you guys. Amazing team, amazing group. Being surrounded by such talent brings up the learning curve so much. Thank you. Welcome to the tribe, buddy. Welcome to the tribe. <laughs>